He now looks at each other and says to themselves, God has, the king has, watch this, hired the Hittites and the Egyptian army to come take us out. So watch what your let's go do. Your let's go makes the manifestation happen of your enemy let's go, uh, makes them have to leave because the Bible now says, watch this, that uh, the enemy jumped up and they left. Y'all, y'all, y'all watch this. The enemy jumped up and they, and they left. The enemy jumped up and they, they left. The enemy jumped up and, and they left. I feel like I'm boring, y'all. The, the enemy jumped up and they left. And they left all of the stuff. When they left all the stuff, the, the, the four men begin to come in. Four men begin to come in and they figure out, hey, all this stuff is here. We can eat after they, after they eat and drink, they begin to hide stuff. They begin to hide stuff. They, they, they begin to hide stuff. They, they eating, but have it had, you ever had a moment in your life where you ain't had nothing and when you get it, you want to make sure you can savor it and, and, and you want to make sure that you have it for longevity, for a time, a long time. You, you begin to hide stuff. You begin to put stuff up and you begin to store stuff. But then the men came together again and made a declaration. They said, what we doing is wrong. Because although God has allowed us to walk into something, it's not for us to keep for ourselves. Please look down your row and say, you got to give a praise to God. You can't just keep what he's done for you to yourself. You, you can't keep it to yourself. You cannot keep it to yourself. But you need to tell somebody. You need to testify that God is a miracle worker. You need to testify that God has brought you out of it all. Somebody need to pray for you. Uh, so, uh, uh, you need to testify that God will make a way out of no way. They said, what we're doing is wrong. So let me sum up the message. Uh, what ended up happening now is they go back. They, they go back to where they've been rejected from. Can I suggest to you that, that if you've been rejected in family and shortcomings and in things of that nature, what happens is you was rejected because God is getting ready to use you to bring the family back together. Can I suggest to you when you look at Joseph, Joseph was rejected. Why? Because he was the one that God wanted to use to bring the family back together. Can I suggest to somebody in here that your rejection of isolation is not necessarily because you was wrong. Wrong. It might be the fact that God wanted to talk to you by himself without distraction from everybody that you rock with uh, and you roll with or that you live with. So what he will do is allow things to happen that will isolate you out that you can hear nobody's voice but his. Am I talking to one person in here? And what happens is when you come out of that, you